Alan, it, it's great to be through to the next round, but it's fair to say we made a little bit of hard work of that. We did. Um, we had to change the team, I'll be honest. I've got lads that need minutes. And let's be honest, we, we're never going to win the FA Cup. Yes, you want to get through as far as you can, but I also need to look after the squad and manage the squad. And I needed Ben minutes, I needed Rosie just come back. He's missed all pre-season. And Diogo's just joined, I need to get him on the pitch to try and get them match sharp. Fine in training, but match sharp. Mm. And I thought this was a perfect game for them. And it's, it's worked wonders for us because it's got opened their eyes to what pace they need to get up to. So on that side of it, that positive is a big plus that they've got minutes on the pitch. Performance-wise, rubbish. First half, absolutely rubbish. It was, I'm not going to mince the words, but it was nowhere near. It was chalk and cheese from Monday night. Not doing what we were good at, not hurting them, not putting the ball in. But you put the ball in behind once, Kane gets on the end of it, gets a penalty and the lad gets sent off. And you expect to go on and win the game. But that second goal, wow. I, I, I'm not going to go through it because everyone would have seen it, but that's probably one of the worst. Both full-backs, for me, at fault. It was just so bad. And they knew that, but fair play to them. They dug in and they, they got the just reward in the end. And oh, What can I say about the big man? Yeah. <laughs> He's... But like I said, we're getting to know him. He's getting to know all the players and all that, and the balls are coming in the box in the right areas, and he's doing his bit. So delighted with them so far, and we've just got to keep doing it, keep feeding him. And here's come on, and here could have probably had a couple of goals. Mm. He's had a bit of a tough time. He's had the little and rolled his ankle, so I had to t be. A little, I thought it was a perfect game to give him a little bit of a rest. But he's disappointed when he said because he hasn't mm. scored there. But listen, that's it, it, not perfect, but. There's a little niggle that bugged us at half time when the fans were booing. Yes, they've got a right to have a go at the lads, but come on, they've won three the last three games. There's no need to have a go at them like that. And they're trying their best and some of it we know it wasn't good enough, but wait till the end of the game and see what the result is before you have a go at them. Yeah, it all turned to cheers for especially for Mark Beck. We've quickly checked our records. We'll have to double check them. But we think that Becky is the first down player to score a hat trick at Blackwell Meadows. In six years, the first Dalo player to score a hat trick for seven years at home, Good. and probably the first Dalo player to score a hat trick since Glenn Naylor way back in 2000. So it's a great achievement by him this afternoon. As I say, I'm delighted with him. He's, I think everyone who's watched his games from the start of the season to now has seen him grow and develop, and his understanding of the game's improving massively. Watching him, he's at his first touch as much of everything's just improving this is what happens when you're a striker and you're scoring goals mm. everything just works well for you you're mm. not thinking about it. you're not thinking about anything else other than doing your normal game and that's where he's in that mood at the minute and the longer we keep him there the better mm. but I say it's not just a one man team yes he's he's getting applauded scoring the goal but you look at the deliveries from mm. the crosses and all that and the, the stuff that we've done we could, as I say we could have scored a few more goals to make it more comfortable but we got the job done in the end. Yeah, the key to it is it's all right him scoring them, but they've got to be created for him, haven't they? And, uh, and you got to admire Jack Lambert there. He caught the keeper out uh, with that shot. He pushed it up in the air and Becky was there. But a you know, lovely cross again for him earlier on. That's it. Well, you look at the set players, we, we, I don't know how many times we hit that first man. Mm. And it annoys the life out of me when we've got two big six foot four lads, Jake Lowe, Lowe and Mark Beck, and if Wheats is playing and Hayes is playing, you've got some big lads. And we're hitting the first man. Mm. And we're just saying, look, you've got use what we've got. And that ball typified exactly what we want to do, where the ball comes over the top and there's Becky to nod it in. And see, when you're a straight guy and things are going well for you, that third one, brilliant. Keep our palms, it saves a shot straight into your chest and that's it, goal. So yeah. <laughs> that's what happens when you you just find yourself in them right areas. So we've got to keep them on that streak. We've got to keep it going. So it's been nice to be able to rest a few players and then bring them on. I thought they impacted the game really well. I think Mox has had been brilliant for us and I, I needed to rest him. He was really blown on Monday night. And then today he's come on and him and Perves have mm. massively impacted the game for us. So that, that's what you want and the squad strength's getting better every week now because lads are getting fitter. So I'm really happy with what we've got, but that performance first half was nowhere near what we have been. But it will get better, that's a certainty. And as long as we keep winning games, the performances can be up and down, it doesn't matter, but you just got to keep winning. Exactly, that's four wins in a row now. Two home games coming up in, in the league next weekend, Peterborough and then Blythe. That's why I needed minutes in these lads today.
because I knew we've got a side to choose to coming up again and there's going to be a lot of games coming thick and fast and this, the more I got minutes into these lads the better because when they're called upon they're in a much better position so I'm delighted with the work and the result but as I say the performance wasn't anywhere near what we're capable of that's a certainty. So in the next round draw on Tuesday lunchtime do you want a home game or an away game are you not bothered? Home game another home game <laughs> I don't like travelling I, I think we went 2-2 there and we're like <laughs> no way or do we want to travel here on a Tuesday night I think end off playing 4-2-4 one point to try and get that third goal so now with you want to play at home you know, mid, especially if you get the fans behind where no one really wants to travel on these Saturdays to, to a weird game so if we can get the, a nice home draw and then see where that takes us after that.